Greetings guys and gals, my name is Thad and it is the middle of the night but since I couldn't sleep I thought, you know what, let's just record another part of the Skyrim Magic Only Legendary Difficulty playthrough. Since it's the middle of the night though, I have to be a little bit more quiet than usual. I hope that isn't that big of a problem. <laughs> I hear wolves and it's three of them. Oh my god. Let's toast them. <laughs> toast them. Oh, hey. You cannot evade my flames. They burn bright and just and bring you to uh, <laughs> death. Okay. Searching the wolf. Uh, yeah, I thought the calm uh, music and environment of Skyrim would help me to calm down a little as well. <laughs> we'll see about that. What do we have there? Another rune. Let me guess, this is actually the rune I was searching for earlier, right? The red eagle thing. Right? With many forsworn and hag ravens and all such things. Sunder towers. Hmm. Interesting. What will we find inside? Okay, it's barred from the other side, so... I guess we'll never find out. <laughs> I bet there's a lot of force one enemies there who will just instantly kill me. But as adventurers, we of course have to check out what ah, hides behind these ruins. Hmm. That looks interesting. Looks like a force one camp, as I've already suspected. Oh, that's right, Lydia cannot. F <gasps> what is this? Where are all the enemies? I think this is the camp I was searching for in the other part. I think we can get the red blade from here. <gasps> oh no. Okay, there he is. Did you know there's actually a pretty cool mechanic with the thorn hearts? You can sneak up to them and just pickpocket the, their hearts out of their inventory and then they, in <laughs> they instantly die. Yeah, that's the thing. If you didn't know, now you know. So if you have a sneak character, try sneaking up on them and steal their heart right out of their chest. <laughs> it's a guaranteed kill. Oh fuck. He noticed me, he noticed me. Flame at your Do my bidding! And kill him. I just want to steal his book. Oh no, there's another one. So what do we have here? Red Eagle's right. Red Eagle's right. Having bathed the blade in human blood, present at the... Pres presented at rebels kind together with your sacrifice and intone lord red eagle ancient one first and foremost among reachmen heed the call of your people still we fight for freedom still our blades are dark with blood turn your gaze upon us and grant us your blessing anew i renew the ancient covenant when at last our lands are free we shall return your sword of victory in hand then arise o great one from your honored tomb reclaim the sto thy stolen throne Rule over us, High Lord of the Reach, forevermore. Okay, okay. Now we only have to get the sword and we are here. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I won't face the Force One. Yeah, the Bri okay, Briar Heart. I thought, I thought they were called Thorn Heart, but Briar Heart. Okay. And Foos. We definitely need to be to do the Greybeard quest because I want the full shout. <laughs> the Foos roll out. To just yell people off of the cliffs. Uh, let's kill the regular force one. Because they're pretty good. Yes, destruction magic. Destruction magic leveled. Very nice. Healing. No, I won't. Healing. Okay, the Briar Heart is fleeing, which is. Okay, is that. Wait, is he dead? No, not quite. Staff of Flames. Can you wield two staffs at once? Whoa! <laughs> okay, he was just catapulted away. Yes, he has the blade. Red Eagle's Fury. Burns the target for six points. Targets on fire to extremity. Okay, wow. Okay, so the Briar Heart. You can, you can steal the Briar Heart uh, from them out of the inventory and they instantly die. That's a very interesting mechanic. Just if you didn't know. This is possible. Okay, carrying too much. Uh, I won't fight the other force one. I don't care about them. We got we kind of got what we wanted anyway 
Ah, uh, steel dagger. Wow. We, we got a lot of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now I just try to run away. Without alarming the whole Force One camp. <laughs> we kinda sneaked in here, stole the sword, and now we are ready to go. Okay then, so I think we can actually fight the Red Eagle now. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> I didn't think we were, we were going to make it uh, this soon, but, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> okay. So where was the... this was the cave, right? Yeah. Wow. This wolf died in very ominous fashion. Still looks very much alive. Okay, I have no idea where Lydia is, but I'm going to need her because I have no idea how strong or weak um, the Red Eagle actually is. Uh, and I can't remember the boss fight. I think it was a pretty straightforward boss fight, right? So, hey Lydia, there you are. In your golden armor. <clears throat> I think it was a pretty straightforward boss fight. So, uh, Contra Flame Atronach and Healing Hands. Come on. I'm ready to face the Red Eagle. Swing. Can I take it again? No. Too bad. <laughs> it's not even that bad of a weapon, I think. But what do I know? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mage. I can't know such things about weapons and stuff. Wow. That looks kind of cool. I already like the cave design. Okay, do we have Draugr? No. Probably, right? Hmm. Huh. No draugers can be detected. So maybe we just have to face the Red Eagle himself. There he is. Okay, skeletons. Atronach, help me. There you are. Kinda weird that they buried him in the same old fashion of the dead. They buried every single Draugr got him. Okay, he's strong. Uh, not that strong, but strong. Let's kill the skeletons first. Ah, I thought <laughs> I was hoping for a level up actually, so you didn't have to. You know what? I'm going to eat all my food, so we don't have to use uh, potions. I don't even have that many potions, I think, anymore. We definitely need to get new ones. Whoa, they are stronger than I remembered. Uh, Potion. Let's take one of healing and let's take. S oh, was no wait, that's healing. I actually thought that was magic card. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the magic card. We do not have enough magic card potions. <laughs> uh, let's. Ooh. Okay. Let's just fall back. Tactical re retreat, see how many skeletons we're dealing with here. Okay, a lot of them. <laughs> Looking at the radar, I see a lot of skeletons. Foos! Okay. I'm gonna foos him and then I'm going to spark him up. <laughs> I deal with the skeletons. It's so weak, uh, weird because the skeletons are very weak. Like, if you ever played Skyrim, like, normal. <laughs> on a, a lower difficulty and like with melee weapons they can be usually killed in like one hit. They are incredibly weak. Oh damn. Lydia's hurt healing hands. Come on Lydia, don't sidestep my healing hands and grab a melee weapon for god's sake. Okay, so it seems like all the, of these skeletons are dead, right? Yeah. Cool. Wait, why are they all dead? Hmm, weird. It's so weird that they can use screams. Okay, someone... I know that there are people out there <laughs> who know a lot about Skyrim's lore and stuff. But how come the Red Eagle can use um, the tomb? Uh, I am confused about that. Does that mean he's Dragonborn as well? I mean, the Greybeards can use the tomb without being Dragonborn. But they need to learn them for like for like decades, right? Wow, that's cool ass blade, man. No, I was only complimenting your blade. I didn't want to fight you. I'm going to summon another astronaut now. 
Atronach, defend my honor and also my body and everything else that is <laughs> associated with me. Firebolt! I can scream as well, you see that? Lydia, use your melee weapon for God's sake, your boat is not nearly strong enough. Hey, he's laughing at us. That's nice. Foos. Come on. Foos. There we go. Yeah, here he ends. That's a nice place for a boss fight. <laughs> it's very spacey. It doesn't have any... mean... Uh, you know... Ranged attacks. It's very nice place for a boss fight. There we go. Can I foos at him again? No. Ah, that's not really necessary. He's, he's done. Oh, look, he can foos. Sparks. Sparks. <laughs> yeah, extend it. You're dead, right? You're dead. <laughs> look at him go. Okay, what do we have here? Honed ancient Nord great sword of burning. Earns for 12 points. Well, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I don't want to give Lydia a um, great sword, so I think I'm going to keep that in my trusty barrel. Trusty barrel. Can't drop these though. Uh, what else do we need to drop? These, these. Okay, there we go. But we can actually uh, already drop more because there's a huge as huge as chest back there. So let's just drop this, this, these, and there we go. So what kind of loot are we dealing with here? First of all a coin purse. Dwarven mace, also nice. Potion of healing, I'm going to take this one. Steel greatsword, nope, I don't need that, I don't need that. Oh, the soul gems, we're going to take these. And we're going to take the gold also. And what is in that chest? Hide bracers of major archery, cool. To take this, okay. Lockpick, scrolls of conjure storm matronarch. I'm going to hold on to this ring of sure grip, okay. Leather boots and scaled helmet, very nice. <laughs> Nothing really mage worthy, but you know, kind of nice. Okay, so now we I think this is one of the dungeons where there's no secret exit, so you just have to, you know, go the same <laughs> way you came, but that is completely fine. As it's only these, like, I don't know. <laughs> Five meters back. Oh, it's a light from there. Can I. Oh! You can actually take the. Phew, I actually. <laughs> I thought I just locked Lydia in there. Wait, if I put it there again. Does it open again? Yeah! <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I'm going to take it, though. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know you can take it again. I mean, I guess why not, right? Bliss the word, bliss the word, bleeding crown. Do, 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 do. Alrighty then, I think we are going to end this part at the exact same position that we started it from. <laughs> in front of this very cave. Anyway, the, the, yeah, that reminds me, I actually, I actually um, just noticed that on the rope, on my rope is actually a skull. I didn't, I didn't even notice that before. I just noticed it at the end of the last part. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I also hope you'll be there in the next one. Until then, have a nice day, have a nice night, and of course, as always, have a nice time.